Hi, SketchUp users. I, uh, I model a lot of stairways, and, and although there are a lot of uh, dynamic stairway components, um, dynamic components out there on the internet that are probably better than this one, I wanted to use one that was more useful for the way uh, my workflow goes. And so I had been working on playing with dynamic components and designed this one uh, to be useful to me. And the way that it works primarily is <clears throat> once you know the overall height from floor to floor, first floor to second floor, second to third, um, once you know that overall height, you can input it into my dialog box here. And uh, this dynamic component will automatically uh, calculate the correct rise, uh, the rise being the vertical distance from one step to the next step. And, uh, and then will create a, a component based on the overall height, uh, the overall uh, rise of the, the stairway. This, the overall rise is right here. And the other neat thing it will do is uh, subtract this last part so that uh, you don't want the step coming up, the stairway coming up all the way to the next floor. You want this, uh, this rise to be equal to this rise here. And so that's what this uh, component does. And then I'll just show you how it works. Uh, if you know that the overall rise, for instance, is um, 132 inches, 11 foot, you input it here, hit enter, and it automatically um, adjusts your stairway for a, an 11 foot uh, floor to floor rise. Uh, you can also change the run, which is the horizontal distance of the tread uh, here. If uh, you want to go, for instance, to 12 inches, you would hit 12, hit enter, and it would automatically calculate and, and redesign this dynamic component for a 12 inch run. You can change the width of the stairway. Um, I've got it set at 60. If you change it to 48, it's going to redesign it, recalculate, uh, and configure it for a 48 inch wide stairway. So, anyway, I just thought I would post this and hope you enjoy it. Um, the way that I do, have fun with it.